Hi, this is Chandler Rose, and welcome back to my Fountain of Youth massage series. And I've been thinking a lot about how the real fountain of youth is rest and relaxation. And a good place to start today is working with feet. So I have a lovely Lucy here, and I'm just going to continue to talk about how massage really is the fountain of youth for the body and all its structures and creating more stretch. So I have her in a super comfortable position. She has a yoga bolster under her knees. You can do a rolled up towel or blanket as well. You wanna make sure the room is nice and warm and comfortable with relaxing sounds. Maybe you wanna put on some nature sounds or music that you like. That's good too. And if you're working on your partner or friend, I applaud you for giving someone some relaxation time as well. Um, giving massage is actually deeply relaxing for me. So I find a lot of rewards in giving massage. Definitely helps me feel better, allowing other people to feel more relaxed and youthful as well. So I'm gonna start by using a very soothing massage oil blend. This one has flower oils in it, which are very good for circulation. Also very good for muscle tone and skin tone. They're small molecules, so they moisturize the feet. A lot of times the feet and hands can have some calluses on them. So even just the mechanical ability of putting a moisturizer on really stiff, dry skin will help your skin and structures feel and look more youthful. So I'm applying this oil on the heels, making a special effort to bring it up through the pads of the feet and the toe pads. Working on each toe pad with a little pressure on each toe pad actually stimulates the same points that are connected with the sinus points in the face. And anytime you work on the feet in someone that is looking for foot massage, just the act of touch is deeply relaxing and helpful for their nervous system to unwind and slow. So I like to squeeze the feet all the way down to the toe pads. So I'm just taking my hands and raking with my thumbs through the arches and down towards the toe pads. So the cool and unique aspect of working on the hands and feet is that there's all this research and mapping and history on reflexology and how all these little structures in the feet, all the bones in the feet, and all the actions that they take to carry us really have an effect on how the rest of the body feels. So the idea of this fountain of youth as massage for the body and working on the head, face, scalp, and the feet, and the hands is a really good way to first address the body holistically because these areas are maps to the rest of the body and how the body works together and how the structures work together. So 
So I'm going over to her right foot. I'm assuming by how her foot feels that she is very right dominant. Are you right handed? Yeah. So a lot of times you're going to feel that whatever dominant hand they have, you're going to feel a lot of the same stuff in that foot, which is interesting, but makes sense since we're a whole moving being and that certain postures would show up on the same side of the body. And once in a while, it will be the opposite. So ask questions. Don't make assumptions when doing massage. Check in with your person. Make sure what you're doing feels good. So working into the structures that are tender and tight, is that too much pressure for you? Will help these muscles feel more elastic feel more flexible and feel more youthful. If you have really tight feet and it hurts to work on, to walk on them, then working on them with massage or relaxing that tissue will help the feet have more flexibility, more movement, more rotation, more movement in the ankle. A lot of times if you have someone that has sore feet a lot, then they will make adjustments by walking on the outside of their feet or on their heels in a certain way. And so foot massage can really check in on where that kind of patterning might be happening. And so what I'm doing on this right side that appears to be way tighter than the left is I'm taking my thumbs and any time I feel an area of congestion or tension or hardness, I'm going to stop and work into that area. Almost like molding clay. And Lucy's doing a great job at breathing. You want this time to be about rest and relaxation not about them focusing on what you're doing exactly. And I find that starting with the head scalp and then working into the hands and feet can really get them in a very relaxed state to work deeper on those tissues and really make change. So I'm gonna do and show you some stretches for the feet. So, some of this is more subtle, more about just creating more relaxation and balance in the body. So I like to just hold and traction the heels back. And if you have oil on your hands, you're going to have to kind of get a good grasp on her. And this idea of holding her feet slightly above where her knees are and also above where her hips are, creates this, it's almost like a, a waterfall posture on a very subtle le level. You're allowing the blood to kind of circulate down back towards the torso. And then after I put her down there, I'm gonna focus a little more on doing some stretches and movement for the ankles. So I like to take kind of the heels of my hand and put them around this little notch in her ankle where her bones are. And I'm just kind of rocking this ankle open. And in women, well, in men too, but the ankle area that's been studied extensively through reflexology and other modalities that are more on the Chinese side of things. A lot of what happens hormonally in the reproductive organs in that area is also connected to all these points around the ankles. So for women, you oftentimes get these sore places around these bones and these places are really good spots to work for regulating hormones in the body 
again, really works with her, our whole concept of massage being the fountain of youth. You are isolating a very small part of the body, but you're working around the idea of creating space and connection. And I find that massage in the ankles really feels good too. You have these structures that are fascial structures, which a lot of times are very nervy. And these little bands go over our wrists and ankles and these bands are called retinaculums. And these retinaculums are these really dense, fibrous structures that protect our joints. But they also have these little nerves in them and they feel really good to be massaged. So creating this massage in the retinaculum also creates new space and movement in the ankle which can be helpful or healing for anyone dealing with an ankle sprain or soreness. Again, you wanna be really careful of any new injury. I would say try not to work on anyone that has been injured. I would give them six weeks at least after an injury. And if it's anything too concerning, I would have them speak with a doctor first before doing massage. Ankles tend to be one of those things that once you injure your ankle, it's oftentimes something that will bother you for a long time. However, it doesn't have to be the case. Definitely doing soft tissue massage can really create more youth and more repair in that area. And that's what we're working towards. So I'm gonna go to the other side open up her ankle a little bit with that kind of jostling, rocking movement. I have her foot between the heels of my hands. And then I'm gonna work into that retin retinaculum on this side as well. And the retinaculum runs across the top of the foot. If you're into anatomy, you can you can Google the muscles of the body. You can Google the retinaculum in the foot and check out where it is. It's pretty cool. And then on the sides of the ankles, you know, on the lateral side of each, so the, the side facing out, not towards midline, there's a ligament there called the deltoid ligament, which is the most commonly injured ligament in the ankle. So working on the deltoid ligament really helps relax the whole structure and complexity of what's going on in the foot. Getting back to some sort of reflexology theory. If you want to generally think about how your foot is a map of the body, you can think about the heel being your tailbone and the, the big toe being the top of your head. And so your foot is essentially your torso and everything inside of your torso. This does not include your arms or legs. So if you think about that, reflexology, this theory has lined up all these points in the feet with the organs and structures in the body. So if you want to work on the neck, work on the big toe, because the big toe is the top of the head. If you want to work on the middle of the back, you're gonna trace the arches in the feet and then directly affect those points that line up with the muscles in the back. And then if you want to work on the low back or areas within the low back, 
you can work on the heel. I can guarantee that 10 to 20 minutes of foot massage will take a layer off yourself or your person that you're working with and it will change their whole day. Foot tension goes kind of last in our list of things that we feel. Oftentimes people will complain about their back and their neck and maybe not complain about their feet ever. So working on the feet is definitely a helpful tool for creating the fountain of youth in the body. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. And in part one, I have a lot more information on massage for the head and neck and scalp. I have a lot of other massage videos on wellnessplus.tv and on Amazon, and I hope you'll join me there. Thank you so much for watching. Hey patrons, it's Karina and Missy. Hello. Hey patrons, this is Jess. Hey mom. <laughs> it is Greek Goddess Hour continued. And we are here with an exciting update for you. It's going to be more interactive, more communication, more connection, so that we can offer you more of what you want to see. That's like the most frustrating thing. You're like, God, this video is going so great, and then the camera dies. Alright patrons, so I just want to show you all the perspective here. You're choosing us over Netflix or I wouldn't even choose us over Netflix. No, that's not And what we want to do is become more connected with you. So thank you so, so much. <laughs>